Uh, hi, my name is Dave Jung, and uh, I'm the CEO of Hero Poker, uh, and we are the world's premier boutique poker site. Um, a little bit of myself, uh, my background is in management consulting, and I was a government negotiator as well for technology transfers and joint ventures, and uh, a few years ago I got back, got actually into the industry uh, through the world's biggest poker site, which I became the regional director for in Asia. and. Um, you know, fate is uh, very uh, tricky, and uh, I actually got a, quite a good offer from a private equity firm uh, to join them. Uh, but as I joined them, they thought that it would be better if I actually proposed them something instead. And so they uh, thought, uh, you know, if you're from uh, this online industry, why don't, you, why don't you propose us something from the online industry? And I did, and so here we are um, about um, almost uh, one year later, and uh, here's Hero Poker. Investing in any project without any revenues, without any you know, established business is always a very, very risky venture. I don't think a lot of companies would ever do that nowadays. Maybe back in the you know, dot-com bubble they would have, but you know, everyone's a lot smarter now or got back to some level of common sense. Um, and I said to them, listen, don't worry about the big massive numbers. Don't worry about the big revenues or the TV shows or some, something like that. Let's think of it as a boutique site. And let's make it the best boutique site it can be, you know. Let's not worry about player numbers, but that each and every player that comes in, let's make sure that we can find a game for them. Let's make sure that we can bring in a lot of new players. Let's make sure that we can think that, look, we're not looking for a hit and run, but we're going to look to make this site grow over the next, like, five years. Regardless of the legislation or so on and so forth, let's make adjustments. But let's be true to the brand as something that's just taking care of each and every player. And that's what it came to. The team itself... I mean, each and every player that I picked for the team, individually, they can stand alone. I mean, they're legitimate, legitimate players. They might not be the most well-known players by any stretch of the imagination, but you know, I've done my research on them, and they know what they, they know, definitely. So there's a kind of legitimacy there, first and foremost, that I'm looking for, that you know, any poker player to look at my poker players on our, you know, our sponsored team will say, you know, these guys are legitimate. They're not like... $1, $2 grinder pros online or they haven't just final table some random tournament or they're not guys who have won a major but then done nothing else and basically just kind of satellited in and just lucked out. We have uh, Gavin and Terrence, okay, and they're actually very, very close friends, very close friends. And we have um, Julian and uh, David, um, and again, very close friends from Australia. And then we have uh, Rec Rule Dan and uh, James Quar and Mackey. And both of those guys come from uh, you know, the PC gaming competitive uh, backgrounds, but also uh, they're very cerebral, uh, very analytical players, more so than uh, most of the other players that we have on the team. Of course, they're all very analytical, but these two are you know, definitely uh, you know, mad genius kind of level. And uh, you know, eccentric in their own ways, quiet at times, but you know, uh, when, they, when they play, very fearless. It's as though, uh, you know, uh, they're going to sit down, you know, James and um, Dan, they'll sit down at a table with anyone and they're not going to think, oh, this guy is like a professional, he's got like five million dollars or so on and so forth. They're going to look at this guy and they're going to just be at peace and they're just going to think, this is some guy that I can break down, just got to figure it out.